Alright, and here it is. Right. This is a huge army. Protoss. Yeah, look at that bile. Take some biles. There's anti-air here. There's enough hydras, I think, especially if she biles. The the interceptors aren't in great number. The Colossus is a problem, but the trade is good. And look at the biles. Beautiful biles. Uh, even if she loses this entire army, there's it's a second fine. wave to get ready. But it looks like she's going to win this out. Barely. Uh, oh, the Biles hit the crit. The Biles the are so good. I think uh, Protoss may... Well, I don't know. She's not She's not reinforcing. There it is. She's finally reinforcing. Yeah, but even... Look, look at the stream of units going oh, across yeah. the map. Oh, yeah. Kitty Cat has a giant stream. Oh, my gosh. This is Power Zerg. This is like a Marine... A bio, you know, parade push. Yeah, this is the reminds me of the old bomber with uh, just a bunch of marines going across the map. Wow! Right. Well played here. I think uh, you know Miss Uber XL just needs more storm, more AOE damage. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, you can never and win against uh, the swarm of the Zerg unless you have some sort of an AOE to mitigate their numbers. Right? Yeah. And. You know, you can't, and she did have Colossus, but I think they were just too late yeah, and not enough. What do you think is enough? She had like four of them, maybe? She yeah, I think this. you need to get four and then even a little bit more even to just force three. them to go air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, yeah, it's just overwhelming numbers here for Kitty Cat. It's, it's a very many. impressive. Yeah, and, and now at this point, Protoss can't make enough to do anything. Yeah, there's just not yeah. enough. And, yeah. And that's, that should do it. Very convincing Kitty Cat Gamer win. And look at that. Yeah, game she's, one adjustment. Look at that. She's even microwing so it finals the, the front line so it doesn't block the back. Right? Yes. These, these are small things that we notice. Yep. Stu Blue's probably going to give some coaching. They're like, hey. Oh, he's actually sending the queens home. There it is. There's a battle on the third. Yeah, he, I think he needs to fight this. These are slow lots. Yeah, but he, he can micro there's... this. He can kite oh, there's still somewhat. Enough lots, charge lots here, though. Ah, uh, these aren't even charged yet. Charge well, is not yeah. done. Uh, oh, he's, he missed mid click. He missed click. He was trying to get the the void ray, and a lot of the units died from the zealot, the slow zealots. Oh no, this is what I was saying. If he had brought the queens, and just kind of microed better, this this is a winning position. I mean, we do see right, everything, here's... so it's not fair. Here's... Charge is done. Oh, good, Go good kite back. Go back to the spores. This is good. Go back some more to the other spores. Instability, though. Yeah, Chomping down battle. these high. Oh, but she gets scared. Oh no, it's the. She just wants to avoid the spore attack. But there's not enough ground. Yeah. Charge slot reigns supreme in that battle. Yeah. Oh, there it is, I think. And he's even making a lair there by mistake, of course. Because he already has one at home. You know, actually, Frieden had a good chance here. I think he just needed to micro a little better and prioritize the attack up front. So, yeah. Double the supply and army. So, and Frieden can't fight in open ground against Charge Slash. He needs to be back in corners. And so, I think he's going to lose his army, and that's it. I mean, this is yeah. a giant army now. Look, his creep spread was really good in this game, but. He yeah, doesn't have the army, and, and that's going to do it for game one. So, yeah. That's a good victory there for instability. She yeah. got push here. So, yeah, Criminal is going to push up front on the right. The front right side. Keep him busy. Then this drop, which was trying to go. I don't know why it zoomed in to, to the right side. He knew about this earlier. But he's just gonna go for it. He's like, you know, I find I have a lot of marines. That's only one cannon. And look, the archaic is aware of the the army up front, and so he defends pretty decently here. But oh, Colossus pops up just in time. But the Colossus can die. He's by himself. He's alone. There is a cannon. He needs to micro it back. He doesn't micro it back because he's dealing with the thing up front. He's slowly falling apart here. This bio army is getting strong. Oh my gosh. I think he has broken him with this two-prong attack, at least at the front side. Look at the army difference, 74 to 14. He has a huge army here, he can just F2 there and then just, just win. So maybe the Archaic cleans this up, but 
you know, he's gonna need two Colossi here, and they're not. Uh, one isn't even out yet. He took a lot of damage there. And oh no, the big army's coming. So this is the uh, the killing, the killing blow that the archaic is not ready for. I think he took too much damage from the drop. Despite putting the cannons here. So he needs to have a nice engagement here. This is a huge army. 89 to 26 guys. He's going to stem to kill the Colossus. Which didn't get to shoot. And he just dies. No micro. And that's going to do it. So game one. 